Named after goddess Athena, few cities, if any, can rival Athens when it comes to historical significance. When you first visit the city, you see the top attractions. Most of them look like ruined shadows of their glorious past, with just their huge columns surviving the test of time. But it's worth visiting these places if you know the stories behind these broken structures. When you are one of the oldest cities on the planet, you have stories to tell. So in this video, we're going to focus more on the history part of these top attractions. Why even today bits and pieces of these once glorious buildings are still worth preserving. Hello, I'm Austin. You're watching Vinay Everywhere. Let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in Athens. Number 10, Mount Lycabetus. According to Greek mythology, goddess Athena was carrying a huge limestone for the construction of the Mount Acropolis. She received some bad news and dropped the limestone. That limestone is on your screen right now and called as Mount Lycabetus, rising 900 feet above the sea level. Mount Lycabetus is the highest observation point of Athens with a spectacular view of the city and this one very popular view of the Acropolis. There is also a 19th century Greek Orthodox church here and an upscale restaurant. Number 9. Temple of Olympian Zeus In 515 BC, the Athenians aimed at building the greatest temple in the world to honor the supreme Olympian god Zeus. Thus the construction of this massive structure began. However, this was no easy task, and this 104-column temple finally got completed 638 years later during the reign of Roman Emperor Hadrian. The glory was short-lived as Roman Empire fell and during the barbaric invasion of 267 AD, the temple was taken apart for construction materials. Today only 16 columns survive. One of them fell to the ground during the storm of 1852, while 15 still stand. Number 8. The Museum of Cycladic Art This museum specializes in cycladic art of the 3rd millennium BC. It was founded in 1986 by Nicholas and Dolly Golandris, two Athenians who wanted to preserve Greek culture. Museum of Cycladic Art features various sculptures, jewelry, pottery, weapons, and more. Since its inception, it has consistently grown to accommodate new acquisitions, obtained either through direct purchases or through donations. History buffs and art lovers rave about the high-quality exhibits offered inside the small museum. Number 7. Herod Atticus Odeon On the footsteps on the Acropolis lies the most beautiful concert hall in all of Europe, the Herod Atticus Odeon, named after Tiberius Claudius Herod Atticus. Wait, why are Greek names so long and complicated? Anyway, this wealthy Athenian sponsored this ancient outdoor auditorium. Herod Atticus was renovated in 1950, resulting in important events being held here, like the Miss Universe pageant of 1973. It also hosts theater, music, and various art festivals. Number 6. National Archaeological Museum The National Archaeological Museum is considered one of the greatest museums in the world and contains Greek antiquity dating back to as early as 6000 BC. Among other fascinating things, you will find extraordinary sculptures like the Athena Varvakeion. It is believed that the Pantheon had a golden statue of Athena, which was taken down for its precious metals. This is a replica of that statue. Then there is the mask of Agamemnon. Yes, the villain from Brad Pitt's movie Troy, Agamemnon. His original mask has been described as the Mona Lisa of prehistory and is on display here. Number 5. Panathenaic Stadium This magnificent stadium was built to host the Panathenaic Games. Contested every four years to honor the goddess Athena, it is the only stadium in the world built entirely of marble. The cost of building this stadium is so high that it's almost guaranteed there will never be another one like this. The Panathenaic Stadium hosted the opening and closing ceremony of the first modern Olympics in 1896. The Olympic Games returned to this venue in 2004 when they were hosted by Greece. Number 4. Ancient Agora and the Temple of Hephaestus Step back in time and immerse yourself in the bustling heart of ancient Athens, the Ancient Agora. The agoras of ancient Greece were open areas for people to assemble for military, political, or commercial purposes. 
Great men such as Socrates, yes, THE Socrates, used to lecture here once upon a time. And close by is one of central Athens' best preserved ruins, the Temple of Hephaestus. According to Greek mythology, Hephaestus served as the blacksmith to the gods. He is worshipped in the manufacturing and industrial centers of Greece, particularly in Athens. Eventually, the building was transformed into an archaeological museum. Number 3. The Erechtheion Erechtheion got its name from the shrine of Erechtheus, the mythical king of Athens. On the north side, there is a large porch with six ionic columns. On the west, there is an olive tree planted on the exact spot where Athenians believe goddess Athena once planted an olive tree. On the south, the famous porch of the maidens with six draped female figures as supporting columns. The current column of females are replicas, and the original ones are safe in museums. Number 2. The Parthenon The patron of Athens is the Greek goddess Athena. She is the goddess of wisdom, war, and civilization. Her shrine, the Parthenon, sits on top of a hill in the center of Athens. Construction of this temple began in 447 BC, when the Athenian Empire was at the peak of its powers. It was completed nine years later although decoration of the building continued for a few more years. There was a gigantic golden statue of goddess Athena inside. It was once a treasury, and at another point served as a church. It is believed to be the birthplace of democracy. Now the Parthenon is a must-see site, and the undisputed highlight of visiting Athens. Before we get to the top spot, we request you to take a moment and like the video if you found it informative, and consider subscribing to our channel to watch more in this series. And now, number one, the Acropolis Museum. The iconic Acropolis of Athens, with its glorious past, has too many secrets to share. The Acropolis Museum does that for it. Right below the museum are the remains of an ancient Athenian neighborhood, which is attention-worthy by itself, and you can see them through the glass floor of the museum. This museum was built to house every artifact found on the rock and on the surrounding slope including five original columns of the Erechtheion. More than 4,000 objects are exhibited over an area of 14,000 square meters. This is a must-visit place and brings to life the magnificent history of Greece. Those were our top 10 recommendations of things to do in Athens. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and thanks for watching.